Now then people, it's Macaulay. Hope you're all doing good. Don't forget to smash a like, subscribe and follow us on Instagram. Let's get into it. Right, so on this job we're doing a refurb of the bathroom. The customer isn't wanting a full refurb, he's just mainly um, swapping the tiles on the wall. So he's called us out to take the basin out, put a new basin in. We fit a granite top worktop and then put a countertop basin in. It looks really smart. I'll show you that shortly. Um, we're also changing the bath taps, bath staining. Uh, we are taking the old shower out and the old shower is going back in. The radiator, the towel rail, sorry, is coming out and going back in. The toilet staying in place, that's not getting changed at all. So here I am just making the ta uh, tap up. We've put the two tails in the bottom and the two fixing bars in. Here I'm just putting the bottom plate on, which is a nice little finish. Um, once that's done, we can sit it into place. Um, once it's in place, we have our two bolts and our... Um, Place for underneath and a washer for underneath which um, we use our box spanner um, I don't tip for you here if it's a little hard to reach box spanners will fit together um, just to help a bit of extension bar some people don't know that but yeah a bit of a trade secret uh, use that to tighten it up and get all nice and tight and once that's done your customer usually turns up with a cup of tea and have a slurp of that so here is the tap all in place looking very smart um yeah once it's all tiled and everything's silicone in it'll look even better so we're going to do a quick walkthrough of how to replace your bath taps first of all you need to isolate your water by either the isolation valves or your main stop cock to the property once that's done we open our taps just to re re release any remaining pressure or water out of the tap we can then grab our cloth spanner or crow's foot to loosen the tap connector underneath the bath we then grab our box spanner to take the back nut off we do this on both sides and we should be able to lift the tap straight out of place once the tap's out of place we'll grab a wet wipe and clean it down as we don't want any gunk under the new tap we'll then make our new tap up with the washers and co uh, cover plates and we can sit that into place like so once that's in place we get our back nut and washer and put them on by hand underneath and nip it up with the box spanner. Once it's happy there, nice and tight on both sides, we can grab our crow's foot to tighten up the tap flexes. But, but before that, we do check our washer just to make sure that it's still intact. Once happy that the tap connectors are both tight, we can reinstate the water supply by either the main stop cock or the isolation valve, whichever you have turned it off by. Once the water is back on, we'll check to see that we've got the hot and cold the right way around, as it is an easy mistake to make. Just by running the water. Happy days, another happy customer. Hope you enjoyed. Right, just come out of uh, that job. So first fix, second fix, bit of both. Um, I've just come outside. I don't, if, I don't know if you can see. It's fucking snowing. What's that all about? Ollie in Dewsbury. Uh, does it snow in April? Anyhow, uh, on to the next one. Oh, I've got a, I think we've got a banging tap and leaking tap to go start out in Eden, so I'll head over there now. See you over there. So we got a call from a customer in regards to a leaking tap which was also making a loud humming noise. Mm -hmm. So first of all, we needed to take the head off the tap. We do this by loosening the grub screw with a Allen key. Once that's off, um, we had to do this off camera due to having one hand and it needed a bit more of a persuasion. We got it out of place to isolate the water and loosen the locking nut from the top with the adjustable spanner. Once that was loosened, we could take it off by hand and using a pair of grips, we had to persuade the cartridge to pull out. It came apart in a few different pieces. Um, instantly I knew it was the reason for the, the fault on the tap. 
So I shot off to Trusty Plum Call to go grab a new cartridge. Once we've got the new cartridge, it, it's a pretty simple job. It just slots into place. You just got to line, the, line it all up. We put the locking nut back into place, tighten that up with the, uh, with the adjustable spanner. At this point, we, we could reinstate the cold supply. Well, hot and cold supply, should we say. Testing it out showed us that it wasn't leaking and there was no more humming noise. So again, another happy customer. Right, so we went to do a gas safety check on the boiler and the hob, uh, on inspecting the hob, we found what the, our friends, the kitchen fitters, left us. So not a no, no, so get it swapped out and have copper all the way up to it. Let's crack on. Right, so it's Friday morning, um, first job of the day. We're off over to the penthouse at uh, Round Bay. Done a bit of work there before in the past videos. Uh, got a phone call from the letting agent. We've got tenants moving in on Monday. Um, so we want to run the shower in the ensuite, which we've done no working before, and there's no water coming out. Um, so we think we've got a faulty shower pump. It's all gravity fed system, so I've got a gun force pump with me. Um, I'll give it that swapped over. In regards to uh, parking wars, if you're on Instagram, I think I've lost. What right, trick is this? Uh. Well, uh, are you gonna stay? Yeah, no. <laughs> I've got a piece this time. There you go. This must be the oldest shower valve I've ever seen. I won't surprise if the shower valve not working.
I'll only walk around that one. That is shocking. Now let's go have a look for the pump, which I believe is in this bedroom. So, are these even turned? They're turned on. Is there any power going to the pump? We have power to the pump. I've got a feeling it's not the pump, it's actually the shower valve. So, um, first of all, what I wanted to do was check whether it was the pump or the valve that was faulty. So, what I've done here is stripped it down. Unfortunately, it's not been the best fit, so we can't actually get the cartridge out. So, what we've done is I'm going to turn the. I've disconnected the pump in, in the other room and I've put the outlet from the shower going into a bucket um, so when I turn this on we should right around here and if water's coming through which it is we know that the valve is the valve is fine and it's uh, not faulty so it definitely is the pump so we'll go get that swapped over it's turned off Flood the place. There we go. Right. We are fitting a Grumfoss shower pump SSR2. Um, so, yeah, let's crack on. Get this fit. First of all, I'm going to switch that off. I'm going to get the uh, pump out of the way. Let's not. Let's get him in any water. So what we'll do is So we'll get to take the fuse out of there first. Um Excuse my bad camera skills. Um, we'll get a fuse out of there, um, make it all safe, turn it off at the board, and then we'll get the new pump fitted. So I'll just do that. Right, so with that out of the way, uh, we've got our Gunfoss pump here. So the, the side entry is our inlet and top entry is our outlet. Uh, they come with these flexible hoses, um, and we have some washers here we filtered in. Um, so they just connect onto there. So one's got a bent flex it and the other is a straight so your straight one goes on top you've got bent one on the side so that they I do this with one hand I should just push it on like that and the one out there tilt it in Have to be over tight, uh, we'll give them a nip up with the grips, um, and then we have to. F these are actually 22 mil connectors, so we're gonna have to put some reducers into there. Um, we reduce them down to 15 mil, and we'll just connect onto the, our two fittings there. So, yeah, let's go grab some two, 250 mil reducers, right? So, we've got it all fit, uh, we've got our reducers in here. Um, excuse the soldering, <laughs> yeah, I messed up that, <laughs> but never mind. Um, I have to do the soldering outside, we're not allowed to do any soldering in this apartment. Um, we have to apply for a hot works if if we want to. So did this all in outside, and then just two compression fittings onto there. Um, 
bit neater than what it was before, I suppose. Um, and then the electrics are all wired up in there. If you do want to see us how we do the electrics, um, drop us a comment below and we'll get a video made on that. Um, so yeah, we're all ready to go. Water's back on. Um, oh, we didn't need to take water off. Well, we didn't water off just in case, but we water's back on. Not that we needed to turn it off because it is on the outlet. Um, we've nipped these two fittings up here with a pair of grips. Yeah, electric's back on, so turn that back on. Let's have a look. Will it work? Will it not? Yay! Nice and hot. Almost changing that. Might have to look into that a bit more. Oh yeah, all good for today. Hopefully that should stop now. Yep, all done.